I'm a proud Indigenous woman because I always remember where I came from and pay respects to that aspect of my life. My grandmother is a residential school survivor. She attended St. Joseph's Residential School in Williams Lake, BC. There's been a lot of you know, intergenerational trauma that my family has been through and I really admire my grandma's strength and resilience to get through what she went through because without her, I wouldn't be here today. You know, being a minority in the trades, you know, being a young girl, I knew that you know, there was going to be some obstacles going into a male-dominated industry. You know, I had to get over my fears and just push myself out of my comfort zone because that's the only way we can grow. Okay, so Ivana, this is the mill. I love giving back and teaching and so when I heard that I had an opportunity to actually do that as a career, I was so excited and you know, I'm just willing to work hard and keep learning and keep growing as a person. Hearing that the Jean Haas Foundation made an incredibly generous donation of almost a million dollars to BCIT's machine shop, you know, modernizing and improving the areas that needed to be improved, which will ultimately give the students the best shop experience possible, hopefully for generations to come. This revitalized space will help us create a learning environment that is conducive to excellence in machining and manufacturing education. Yeah, nice and easy, you don't want to put too much pressure on it. It's so rewarding to me being a role model and a mentor to the next generation of skilled tradespeople, whether they're youth or women in trades. It's something that I'm very passionate about and I've had some awesome mentors in my life, so to be able to give that back is something that I really enjoy doing. that she's looking down right now with a smile on her face and she's proud of me and all my family.